Mystery Science Theater 3000 Show Okay, welcome to the satellite of love, everyone. Mike, Tom, Crow, and Jitsi are the names. And Blackjack is the game. Blackjack 21, Blackjack... Blackjack. Uh, I'll, I'll stick. You can't stick until I deal you a card, you loon. Okay, I stick now. Hey, this isn't so hard. <laughs> you can't have 21 with just one card. Okay, okay, hit me. No, no, I stick now. I stick. Oh, man, I just can't handle this anymore. Should I spit on your dice now or not? Or okay, what? now me. Okay. Me, 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 me. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, hit me. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. Uh, don't you want to check your car? Just keep them coming, bartender. I said hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Ridiculous. You want to go hit check me. the rolls in the hit bar? Me. Yeah, sure. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. We'll hit, right me. hit me. Hit me. Uh, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, hit me. Hit me. Imagine Cisco and Ebert slathered in barbecue sauce and roasted to perfection. Watch Drive and Reviews tonight at 11.30 here at Comedy Central. BKTV. It's the story of Jack the Great Pumpkin King and four cool new watches at Burger King. To get a watch for a buck ninety-nine from the everyday value menu order each time. New lower prices on food that's delicious and see Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Four watches to choose from isn't that fine. Each one is different for one ninety-nine. Watches from Burger King, just one more case of everyday value. I love this place. When it's three against the world, you need guts. Uh-oh. You need luck. Thank you. You broke my fall perfectly. You need an edge. <laughs> Their chances may be one in a million. But one chance is all they need. The Three Musketeers, rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. You'll be shocked. You'll be stunned. You'll be outraged. If you miss it. Madonna. Live Down Under, The Girly Show, only on HBO. You never know what she's going to do. You just want to be there when she does it. Salon style and home. Sassoon style. It's you. In control. It's you. Going places. Sassoon stylist around the world insist that styling products mustn't damage hair. Vidal Sassoon styling products are enriched with protein and a UV protective. We'll give you the hair. Sassoon hair. You take it from there. Protect it every day. We'll give you the hair. You take it from there. It's out, it's out. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, okay, I want to double down. Oh, hey, Mike. You want I should call the pit boss over for to break his tongues? No. Well, 
Uh, hey, Mike, uh, someone's calling. Oh, it's probably Dr. Fossbender and TV's Fred. Come in. Uh, Mike, not that I care about impressing you or anything, but check out my invention exchange. Ta-da! It's the atomic-powered hair dryer. How you doing down there, Dr. F? Oh, I'm fine, Frank. I'm just trying to settle on a look. That's no. great. Be with you in a minute. No. Okay, Nelson, see if you can follow me on this one. Atomic power. Efficient. Dirt cheap. Relatively few meltdowns. Modern hair dryers. Inefficient. Expensive to run. And, okay, I admit, uh, relatively few meltdowns. But my atomic-powered hair dryer works in a fraction of the time. Uh, Frank, what look do you think is better, the Nels Bohr or the Richard Feynman? Oh, I'd go with the Bohr. The Feynman would make really? your face look too chubby. Okay, I'll take your recommendation. Okay, hmm. great. Just going to put these goggles on here. How are you doing? You comfortable? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, Frank, is this safe? Oh, of course it's safe. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? You comfortable in there? Yes. Get on with it. Okay. Hold, please. We have zero quark. Okay. Let's see how you're doing. Get you all combed out here. See ah. how you look. I'm sure everything will be... Ah! Demon! Demon! Stay away from me! Ah! Frank, what is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Just thought you were Baphomet there for a minute. Hair looks great, though. Great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Back up to you, Mac. I don't get them. Um, Mike, our invention... Right. Crow, take point. Okay. Let's talk about unsightly hair that grows on your back. Back hair. Mm -hmm. It's disgusting. Yeah. You'll never know the touch of a woman unless you rid yourself of it immediately. Oh, oh, oh uh, not that back hair is bad. <laughs> Some people might like it. Yeah, if you're an alien or something. Whatever the case, our invention is called the Razorback, and it gives you the option of getting rid of your back hair if you want to. And you should, for God's sake. Now, I'll demonstrate on the back of my jumpsuit because <laughs> I don't have any back hair. Yeah, no back hair. A man's a timber wolf. You slather on the lather with this specially made applicator. Like mm, that. Like and then one great. stroke of the Featherlight Razorback, and all your back hair problems are gone. It's about time, you big ugly yak. Yeah. Oh. But that kid looks good on some people. Yeah. Right. What do you think, sir? <laughs> hey, it, it really is a new you. Really? Jeez, oh, I can't believe you don't have a mirror around here, Frank. I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Uh, anyway, Mike, uh, your movie is called The Wild, Wild World of Batwoman. And for all I know, it stars Robert Conrad and Ross Martin. <laughs> but I doubt it. Uh, there's also a short on cheating. Come on, Frank, I've got to see how it came out. Don't come near me! Hair looks great. Love oh, good, it. good. <laughs> Jeez, I really roughed myself up there. I'll say Sweeney Todd's playing in your back. Yeah. I got the stiff deck. Ah! Oh, oh, stop crying. Oh, 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 a Centron production, although we got the idea from a different company, because we're cheating. Thank you. The Drop Benny Program. Ebenezer Scrooge. Hmm. Well, why don't they call? Because they don't like you. They've had plenty of time to decide. A young Franz Kafka awaits his fate. I think I'll go write some nocturnes. For depressing phone sex, dial 1-900-ALFALFA. Oh, the Foley guy must be Hello? calling. <laughs> yes, this is John. I saw what you did. Yes, I know why you're calling. They did. Oh, they did. They found the body, huh? No. I guess that's it, then. Thanks, anyway. And his parents officially cut ties. Good thing I have my pack, Sil. Jeez, this kid could freak out Jamie Gum. You know what this room needs? A plant. Hmm. Ba 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 
Did you hear about John Taylor? They voted him out as student council representative because he was called John Taylor. What's the story? Morning glory. What's the word? Something bad. Kiss him and cry. You a cheap, John? John, what have you done? Mother Teresa called. She hates you. Remember how it all started. The day you went over to Mary's house to study the test. Remember? There are not enough bell towers in the world for Johnny. All right, John, now look. The problem is to factor x squared minus 9x plus 20. Now, how do you do it? Mm -hmm. Now, let's just cheat. x squared minus 9x plus 20. You take the x squared minus the 9x mm -hmm. and... Mm -mm. Nobody home, oh, huh? You mm -hmm. subtract x from x squared and then you... John, this is geography. Oh, golly, Mary, I don't know anything about this factoring business. John, you do, too. Ooh. Now, the answer is the quantity X minus 5 times the quantity X minus 4. Now, do you see how I got it? Yeah, I guess I do. But, golly, Mary, this stuff's awful. I just don't get most of it. So just have to, you won't pass the test tomorrow. I know it. Mary? Will you kill me? If I get stuck on the test, mm -hmm. you'll help me, won't you? How can I help you? It's easy. Miss Granby hardly ever comes back to where we sit. Huh. If I get stuck, I'll just ask you for the answer. What point? Well, I don't know. Oh, forget it. I probably won't have any trouble anyway. <laughs> Booby. Huh. But you remember what happened the next day, John. You committed a mortal Ms. sin. Miss Granby's test was even tougher than you thought it would be. There were a lot of problems you couldn't work. And it seemed to you that you uh, didn't stand a chance of passing the stop test. Stop the voice in my head. Yeah. And right there in front of you sat your pal, Mary, with her head chock full of all the answers you needed. Split it open now. You thought about it. There you were, desperate. And there was your salvation within arm's reach. On a doily. So you decided to take a chance. Psst. Hey, Mary, what's you the asked answer? You Mary for help. And of course, Mary, being Mary... Gave you the help. Sweet Mary, no! No! It was all so simple. You began to wonder why you'd spent so much time worrying about the test. Huh. Yes, sir, you felt pretty pleased with yourself. Yeah. You'd put one That's over dangerous. on Miss Granby. A few days later, Miss Granby returned the graded papers. Your one mistake, you signed your test Mary Matthews. Oops. This contract arrived for you from a Mr. Elzebub. For the first time, Johnny feels real power. Was there a shadow of doubt in Miss Granby's face as she looked at you? Or was it lust? What was there for Miss Granby to doubt? Hmm. After all, wasn't this the best grade you'd ever made on an algebra test? No. Maybe that was it. Hmm. Maybe the grade was too good. Hmm. Somehow that hmm. odd little look Miss Granby gave you seemed to haunt you. Did you really oh. earn Hi, Miss Granby. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Get away! Oh, she didn't mean anything. That test wasn't very important anyway. Yeah, just keep telling yourself yes, that. You thought it was just a little thing. But it was the beginning of all your trouble. You talking to me? Hey. After that, life went on for you pretty much as usual. You were busier than ever with sports. Shaving points. With Mary and your friend Jim. And most of all, with your new job as student council representative. I envision a cheating wing. You'd always <laughs> wanted to be on the student council. And you were really proud of yourself the day you were elected to take Jack Martin's place when he moved out of town. Under mysterious circumstances. But now, with the honor of the job, went the necessity of keeping your grades up. And your enemies and down. That was your problem. Dear Joe McGinnis, I admire... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Maybe you'd do better if he had parents. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? This is Jim. In the next Let's room? Let's go to Sam's and get a hamburger. I can't, Jim. I've got homework to do. Oh, don't worry about it. You've got plenty of time. I will bring you down, Johnny. Okay, let's go get a hamburger. I'll see you in a minute. Now, was this Ingmar Bergman's first American film? I think. The big clock in the hall went on, ticking off its even measure of time. And you went on as before. Eating hamburgers while the world... You cried. and Mary were still the best of friends. But Mary had assumed greater importance to you. You came to depend upon her more and more in your schoolwork, mm. although you scarcely realized it. You worked her like a punch it press, wasn't Johnny. It was any smarter than you were. It was just 
Well, that she seemed to find more time well, to study. Well. And you were student council representative and a very busy fellow. You gotta help me. What's the answer to number nine? Shh. I smell a big commie rat. John, <gasps> bring it up here, please. <laughs> ding, 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 Put your ding, pencil ding, down ding, and step away ding, from ding, your desk. Ding, 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 ding. Fortunately, your mob ties will get you off, Johnny. Give me that. Wow, that's Randy. I'm afraid I'll have to give you both zero on the test. You woman, sure. And both of you are to report to me after school, please. Mm -hmm. And so Data Plato's career began. So you were caught, John. You were exposed in front of the class. And what's more, Mary was involved, too. Mary, who was only trying to help. Mary, we'll have to take the fall. And then what happened? Spare some change? Your classmates seemed to treat you a little coldly. Perhaps it was because they had studied and worked hard for their grades. Yeah. Maybe they felt that your cheating gave you an unfair advantage. I belong in hell. And their thoughts about you were reflected in another way. Hey, what's up? Me and the student council. They're hanging you in effigy. That's funny. My name isn't on there. I'm on the student council. I don't think you'd want to come to this meeting. It's about you. <laughs> me? That's what I hear. By the way, have you seen my rib cage? Say, <laughs> would you mind calling me after the meeting's over and let me know how it comes out? No, I wouldn't mind. We really should be talking through our lawyers. No, I don't say that what John did was right, but I do think we ought to give him another chance. You mean you think we ought to let him go on being in the student council? I think we should. I well, don't. the senator yield. He's a good representative. That's right, but I don't think anyone that cheats should hold an office. That's yeah. right. I think we should elect a new representative. Well, don't give him another chance. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We won't get anywhere by all talking at once. Are we ready to take a vote now? Oh, Margaret Chase Smith. All in favor of giving John another chance, hold up your hand. Whoa. All who think we should elect a new student council representative, hold up your hand. Oh, holy cow. Well, I guess most of us feel the same way about it. Who's going to tell John? I'll tell him. I said I'd call him when the meeting was over. I'll call him as soon as I get home. If you want, I can turn him into furniture. John, I guess you know why I'm calling. <laughs> we had that meeting about you a little while ago. They decided to elect a new student council representative. You made some powerful enemies, son. I'm sorry, Johnny, but I guess you know why. That you, student counselor? Yes, John knew why it was. He'd been caught in a trap of his own making and had involved his friends, too. He now found himself looked down on by friends and classmates. I have to be his mother. But did John really intend to be dishonest? Or is he just pure evil? Should Mary share any of the blame? Sure. Was it fair for John to use Mary as yeah, he did? Yeah, she was there. <laughs> and what about his classmates? Did John cheating hurt them in any way? Give us Barabbas! Barabbas! What do you think? Riddle me this, Batman! <laughs> <laughs> the end for Johnny, at least, you poor dope. Ah. So I love video stores. I love fighting traffic. I love being told they're out of the movie I want. I love late fees. I love long lines at the register. No matter how you try to convince yourself otherwise, video rental has its drawbacks. Fortunately, there's pay-per-view from Dimension Cable. Ordering pay-per-view is easy. Just select the movie and call. And you'll have the latest hits right in your home. I love rewinding. I love the FBI warning. I like the setting, I like the theater itself, the size, the quality, very personal, small. I've gotten used to the actors, and I really uh, have some of my favorites. I mean, they really are able to draw in their audience. It's like recreating what real life is all about. You get very involved in the play, and you actually forget that you're in a theater. I love Trinity. Trinity is the best. Oh yeah, I like Trinity. There are times I wish I was on stage, believe it or not. Thank mm -hmm. you.
It's the story of Jack the Great Pumpkin King and four cool new watches at Burger King. To get a watch for a buck ninety-nine from the everyday value menu order each time. New lower prices on food that's delicious and see Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Four watches to choose from isn't that fine. Each one is different for one ninety-nine. Watches from Burger King, just one more case of everyday value. I love this place. To see his kids, I need to be with my children. Daniel Hillard was ready for anything. Hello! Now, ready or not. One drop or two. Would you like another one? Oh, there you go. Here comes Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, sir. The terrorists, they ran that way. It was a run by fruiting. Robin Williams is Mrs. Doubtfire. A father's work is never done. Mrs. Doubtfire. You're to the men's room. Ready PG-13. Starts Wednesday, November 24th at theaters everywhere. You'll be shocked. You'll be stunned. You'll be outraged. If you miss it. Madonna. Live Down Under, The Girly Show, only on HBO. You never know what she's gonna do. You just wanna be there when she does it. No, what? My skin's not only clean, it feels really smooth. And not just because she's a girl. It's because I use Vest. She's old. She knows lots of stuff. Zest fully clean. Soap leaves a film on your skin, but Zest rinses clean away, so your skin feels smoother than soap. Zest fully clean. The sooner you start, the smoother you'll feel. I'm waiting. You're not fully clean unless you're Zest fully clean. Feel smooth. You're in Comedy Central. Oh, hey, I have my four-year TV medallion. What do you do when you're branded? We you watch TV. <laughs> hey, maybe it's rope. Ooh. Here's your wrist radio. Wear it at all times. Okay, where? On your wrist? If you want to talk, push the button. Button? Not yet. In a few minutes, you'll be in direct communication with the Batwoman herself. Angels, you're going undercover with Adam West. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Tonight on the Red Shoe Diaries. Proceed. Okay. Yep, still there. Under Article 21, Paragraph 2, we accept your allegiance as a Batgirl. Hmm. You will obey all rules and obey all orders handed through channels. Weird. Now drink this. It's Alva 66. Do I have to? It's got chunks. Part of the ritual. It's like a potty in my mouth and everyone's invited. Yeah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> Linda Cracker like and it's fun. <laughs> now that you're one of us, <laughs> I can tell. We're vampires, all right, mm -hmm. but only in a synthetic sense. <laughs> Drinking the real stuff went out with Count Dracula. <laughs> so what's this? A real group. Honey, mint, cherry, and... Strawberry yogurt. Wow. It's like we're smart, but we're not. <laughs> this is one weird sorority. Wow. Vampirism, it does a body good. Whoa. Huh? Their five-year mission to be hot, hot, hot. Wow. Hey, I gotta do something. What, where huh? are you? What? Mike? I'll be back. Don't worry about it. How rude. You should have done that before we got here, Mike. He, he can't do that. I know. Mike, honey, you're missing it. We're not going to tell you what you're missing. It's really good. Come in. Come on. Okay. Hey, ow. What did I miss? Hey. Sorry. Excuse me. What Thumbs did you through. miss? Only the best credits ever. Um, what, what do you got there? Huh? Where? What do, you, what do you got in the bowl? Popcorn. You can't have popcorn in the theater. What? Why not? Well, you just can't. What a question. <laughs> well, I'm having some. Jeez. You're really some kind of maverick, aren't you? Can I have some? Yeah, me too. Is there butter? Um, I think it's just butter-colored topping. Oh. Here. Let me get some, too. Try it. Mm. You want some? Yeah, yeah. I gotta ram it in there. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I got a hoe. Ooh. Oh. 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 Ooh, wow. Thank you. What's your fingers taste like? Um, it's that caramel or that uh, cotton oil, I think. Oh, oh I hate that smell. 
His finger? No, no, no. The, the oil, the oh. topping, the 30 weights. Can I ask a question? Mm hmm. Do we have to be paying attention to the movie? Oh, yeah. Jerry Warren. Well, there's oh. something clever I could. Uh. We now join our confusing sequence already in progress. I'm as mad as hell! It's a double white phone booth. Thanks, Trevor. Little Johnny, 30 years later. The Exorcist. Hey, mate. Huh? Got a light? Sure, buddy. Well, sure. Having trouble getting to it because of all the money. God, I got thousands of money. I am trying to give this gentleman a light, please. Just hand over your wallet and you won't get hurt. Ah, uh, can I take the money out first? All right, fellas. You want it? You just have to come and get it. The Bad Finger Murders. Okay, you can have it. Hey, it works. <laughs> Rule of thumb, it's not a good idea to look down the barrel of a gun. Or to drop it. <laughs> well, look at the time I gotta go have a doctor's appointment. Huh. Well, as long as I'm down here, I'm gonna take his underpants. <gasps> Attention, Michelle Pfeiffer. That girl, 14 to Batwoman. Hmm? 14 to Batwoman. Witness to hold it, return to murder. Didn't do anything about it, Good over. Man, I have description. Please hey, someone's throwing out good fencing. South Alley, behind the Star Club. <laughs> Whoa. Holy cow, that's 40 pounds of butt in 30 pound butt capacity pan. Hey, turn down the high beams. Whoa, the bat pussy and the sweat drum. Patty Duke. Geraldine. Oh. Kind of looks like Yogi Berra. What? Sorry. Whoa, it's Luke the Disco! We're in the middle of a Katie Lang fantasy. Wow! The women can just dance with each other. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> think she rats much? Wow! No, thank you. I don't want to play the crying game. <laughs> You have to go over here to get it, because it's here, it seems. How about you, sugar? Goodbye, pork pie hat. Hi, I'm Johnny Two-Time. Uh, Johnny Two-Time. <laughs> His shirt just screams British advertising executive. <laughs> uh, you are a girl, aren't you? I made a mistake one time. I'm going to order a shake. Yes, yes, but what does it mean? Focus. <laughs> um, folks, take our word for it. Something happened here. Yeah. Oh, and look, Andy Cap needs more cigarettes. Uh, I need a pack of old things. And despite all of this, life goes on. Isn't it great? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking Yogi Berra. Yeah. Well, they just put a bunch of movies in a blender and pressed a mix button. That's a great bar, Freddy. You were right. Oh, what am I doing in a fake car on a soundstage? Got a good constitution. Snapped <laughs> out of it real fast. Who are you? Never mind. Just sit still and behave yourself. Where are you taking me? On a boat ride. You don't have to worry. You won't get seasick. We make the cruise all the time. My boss. But this is the first <laughs> time that a bat girl's went along. So you're opening, Jeff's middling, and I'm the headliner. What do you mean, bat girl? You don't have to play as dumb. You know you're one of the dolls working for Batwoman. <laughs> Why do you think we put the snatch on you? Recording. Where did you say you were taking me? What I said was for you to sit still. If you do that, you'll make it easy on yourself. Hmm, well, forget her. I don't like her either. Sounds like she's kidnapped. But her radio is up. Call Batwoman. Central line. <laughs> Oh, never fails. Every time I'm stalking. Hmm? Whoa. Good morning, college Republicans. That woman speaking with us. 
Wow, it's casual day at Control Dad. I know, I'm picking it up on our five, too. Hmm. Ah. Second, hmm. good thinking. Well, you should learn all here? girls in your hmm. proximity. Hang up now and stand by for instructions. You know, you guys, as enthralling as this Batwoman movie is, I just can't get that cheating short out of my mind. Mm, ditto, friend. It posed so many dilemmas. Like, did Johnny intend to be dishonest? Or should Mary share the blame? Oh, yeah, or was Mary just a pawn in Johnny's little game? Which begs the question of free will. What about free will? Good one. Or should his classmates give him a second chance? Yeah. And why doesn't the accused get a chance to defend himself? Yeah. Good point. And mm. should uh, Miss Grandy have just come into Johnny's bedroom uninvited and bodiless? Oh. What do you think about that, Crow? Mm. Uh, uh, the Beatles. Oh, you haven't been paying attention at all, have you, Crow? Yes. Uh, could we talk about Mitchell? I see what I mean. Hey, I know what. Let's do. Let's answer the questions that the short posed in our own personal essay. Oh, sure. Well, that's an excellent idea, Mr. Nelson. That, in and of itself, is a valuable exercise in articulating one's thoughts in a clear, concise manner. Now, what's in it for us? And by us, I mean me. I well, there is those hostess snowballs I've been saving. Ooh! I also want to be boss of the ship for a month. Oh, good. Well, we'll talk about that. And Servo has to do my laundry for a year, even my underpants. You don't even wear underpants. Oh, well, you don't worry about that. I'll take care of that. This is getting weird. We'll be right back. Spend a day looking at the lighter side of alien invasion. Watch the Comedy Sci-Fi Marathon, beginning Sunday at noon, only at Comedy Central. Along with 50 other standard amenities, the Nissan Maxima GXE has a keyless entry system on the door. This system allows you to unlock doors, open the trunk, and even open windows automatically. But if you think the door is impressive, just imagine what's behind it. Now Lisa Maxima with a standard V6 for just a thousand down and 289 a month for 36 months. Baked rolled gold pretzels. Rolled gold. What kind of a word is R O L D? It's no kind of word. And gold. They're not gold. They're pretzel colored. I couldn't help but notice your pretzels. Most people don't realize they're low in fat. Hey, April. April. What kind of a name is April? It's a month, not a person. Rolled gold pretzels. They're not rolled, they're not gold, but they are America's favorite. When my OJ first started traveling, I said, call me from the airport, collect. But the price I was paying. Well, now, OJ dials 1-800-COLLECT. These days, we talk more often than ever. OJ! Okay. <laughs> One eight hundred collect. Dial it instead of zero the next time you call someone. Collect. Oh, I'm getting along. Hi, I'm Gerd Boyle, Chairman of Columbia Sportswear. My son Tim, our president, to demonstrate our interchange system. The liner zips in for maximum warmth. The outer shell is weatherproof. together or separately. Best of all, it comes in dozens of styles. I voted against that. The Columbia Interchange System. The thrill. The spirit. We've been searching for treasures. The movie treasures you want to see. From the Far East to the Wild West. From the dark side to the lighter side. Off the map and off the wall. Whatever you're looking for in movies, your search has ended. Because we've already found them. The best movie treasures are right here on Cinemax. Discover Cinemax, the best network for movies on cable. Look for specially marked packages of Maxell videotapes to find out how to get your first two months of Cinemax free. Here's one time it doesn't matter who your neighbor is. Here's the other. Life's too short. Stop the hate. But you said we'd be taking a boat. From the dock or where? 
But what I said was... Look, you're kidnapped. Could you act scared? Do give me that, please. Hmm? So that's your gimmick. Hmm. A wrist radio. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, I'm hey, just bad about it. Hey. talking right now. Testing. One, two, three. It works. Can you hear me, bad woman? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that all about? This is bad woman speaking to you, whoever you are. I have a simple warning that you've taken on much mm. more than you'll be able to handle. There's a Mexican wrestler lurking outside. <laughs> Transmission to all girls, 0077. We will hold special meeting of code 331 according to articles in Manual A. Attendance by entire membership, highly essential. Don't be late, any of you. That woman over and out. That woman has a nice split level in a decent neighborhood. Oh, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Beekman's World. The Aveda Corporation. Pons and Fleischmann still at it. <laughs> I really have to go. Oh, 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 I really mean it. Oh, oh my teeth are floating. Oh. We have company. <laughs> I, I will pet her and keep her and call her George. No. Oh, don't worry about him. No social skills. Sorry. Really, oh, crazy. Donald! But he's going to hurt you. It's Mr. Uh, Bill, and he's all grown up. He's a wild cat. I like the belt of one. Come on, Bruno, lay your Oh, oh yes. A real cutie pie. I'm from next door. Uh, can I borrow a beaker or something? I apologize. Excuse me. Can I? I, I just need a. a can I? I just want to see what time. Uh, can I? Things become necessary. Well, you're busy. I'll come back later. It just happens to be one of them. But you have my promise that I will make your stay here just as comfortable as possible. Back, 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 he He's my concierge. She wants to take your bags. <laughs> just. Uh, yes. Look, he's packing his brain back in. Perhaps you're somewhat of a bit curious yourself. <laughs> I think it's only reasonable that the little doll is given our best courtesy uh, with a proper introduction. My friend, nicely, nicely. Doll? I'm known as Tiger. I'm great. I I'd like you to meet Bruno. Oh, we met at the kid. This here's Professor Neon. He's a scientist. A great yeah. scientist. Yeah, yeah, Neon. He's a great scientist. Uh, I have... Protected one some of the greatest scientific discoveries of the 20th century. Of and I spent a year at Harvard. I have no doubt that the name of G. Octavius Dion will go down in history as one of the absolute giants of civilized science. Uh, yes, blue sky in here. Do you? No, back, 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 he cliff, back, back. back. Now. Well, hmm? we gotta go now. What do you people at home think? Yes, Rat Fink. Rat Fink? I see you were able to get the girl without consequences or undue complications. Yes, Rat Fink. Very good. Your work has been commendable. You will be rewarded in the future. Now listen carefully. I want you to bring me the girl's wrist radio. Bring it to my laboratory within the next hour. I intend to communicate directly with Batwoman on her own frequency. Oh, no. I'll have a pipeline into every conversation she carries. It would be a pleasure to pay her back for all the time she spoiled me in the past. Sir, are you sure you have the right have office? Your instructions, Neon. Carry them out. Yes, I think. Please, it's rat. I insist. There's something profound to be said, but what? <laughs> Meanwhile, in a completely different movie... I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestling. <gasps> all right, girls. Fitness concluded. The meeting will come to order now. Let's hurry up. We're going to tabulate the number of cookies each of you sold. Excuse me, Steph. This is where I stand. Stop looking at my butt, Debbie. You may take your position, 14. <laughs> Thank you, that woman. One, right. two, hey. three. We, the girls who are dedicated to that woman, take our oath with all sincerity. Uh -huh. We, the girls who are dedicated to that woman, take our pride with all sincerity. Yeah. We, the girls who are dedicated to that woman, Fight against evil with all sincerity. One, one nation, nation under half. Let's hurry up. Next time, can we just say the serenity prayer? <laughs> After you, Tawny. Cute suit, Sherry. Don't sit on the couch with your wet suits, girls. Tina, I want to sit by Batwoman this time. Now, the girls in acquisition have a plan. In view of the fact that this is a special meeting, An incredibly goofy. the time element must work in our favor. 
What do you feel? I think it advisable that we dispense with roll call and all formalities under Pact 440 mm. Second to motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. That will continue with business. Thank you. Robert's Rules of Begin Wow. With, <laughs> I want to say cow. that I feel intuitively that the rescue plan we work out will ultimately succeed, mm -hmm. but at the same time will offer hazardous conditions for you all. I feel strongly that it's... Sorry, I pooted. She got her radio back. No, my young friend. I'm happy to inform you the girl did not get back her radio. She won't until I'm ready to return it. Are you surprised, Batwoman? Do you know whose voice you're listening to? Dennis James? I do. And the surprise is not a pleasant one. Well, I might have known you were behind this. <laughs> what have you done with that girl? I'm the minister to Phil Donahue. Except to extend some very comfortable accommodations. She may return to you quite safely, that woman. Or you can take the curtain. What is the price you're asking? You know me better than that. Mr. Fink, turn your radio Simply down, please. need your help to enter a certain building and secure a certain item. I'll give you certain specifics at a certain time. Please, not in your mind. I'm sure that you can understand that the operation is a delicate one. If I had someone skillful enough to carry it out for me, I wouldn't have put myself to all this bother. That thing's got a good watch also for it. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary to discuss the consequences should you refuse to oblige me. Obliging you is bitter enough consequence in itself. Ouch. But I'll not Single. take the risk of that girl losing her freedom because of me. You win, Rat Fink. But I insist upon seeing her first. Your distrust of me is grossly unjustified, that one. Hmm. However, I'll agree to your terms. Twelve o'clock. Top of Hangman's Bluff. Near Dead Man's Curve. Right. Men will meet you there. Think they get telemarketing calls on those wristwatches? Well, looks like Rat Fink's doing all right for himself. Ah! Ooh, Give her another happy film, will you? And stand it. She's had a breakthrough. Here, have a mental. Fresh goes better. Drizzle, 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 drone. Time for this one to go home. Just one of my many spectacular feats. I could make you so happy. You wouldn't believe it possible. Here, wh why don't we all sit down and make ourselves comfortable? I got some chocolate milk in the refrigerator and some macaroons. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sit down. Well, I don't normally do this at meetings, but... Just park your bucket, chair. She's got a frontal bike rack. Whoa. Hey! It's like a Warhol movie, except it's kind of weird. <laughs> Shaka Khan would be ashamed to dress like her. Uh, none for me, thanks. I'm lactose intolerant. How long am I waiting? <laughs> Not for long, I'm sure. <laughs> at any moment, I expect it. <laughs> kind of an odd Thanksgiving, but the sentiment's there. Oh, yeah. Imagine Siskel and Ebert slathered in barbecue sauce and roasted to perfection. Watch Drive in Reviews tonight at 11.30 here at Comedy Central. Baked rolled gold pretzels. Rolled gold. What kind of a word is R-O-L-D? <laughs> it's no kind of word. And gold. They're not gold. They're pretzel colored. I couldn't help but notice your pretzels. Most people don't realize they're low in fat. Hey, April. April. What kind of a name is April? It's a month, not a person. Rolled gold pretzels. They're not rolled, they're not gold, but they are America's favorite. of discovery are the faces of the world. The Discovery Channel. Explore your world. Hi, I'm Gerd Boyle, Chairman of Columbia Sportswear. My son Tim, our president, 
to demonstrate our interchange system. The liner zips in for maximum warmth. The outer shell is weatherproof. Wear it together or separately. Best of all, it comes in dozens of styles. I voted against that. The Columbia Interchange System. It's the great museum caper game from Clue. You're the thief. You steal the art. Perhaps Professor Plum will find you in the foyer. Or will you get to a window and escape? Gotcha! Play the great museum caper game. I turned the switch on, boss. Well, my adversary, so we meet again. Oh my God. Welcome to my humble facilities. So we meet again, but for the first time on your Help me. I can't recall ever being placed in a position where I would perpetuate your evil plan. Now you might think that the Iocane powder is in this one. Great things we could do together. Things that could bring unheard of power and riches to both of us. You're doing a rain dance back there? I want to hear it because I have to be, and it won't be for much longer at that. Get on with your dirty business. He brings a quiet dignity well, to this film. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned previously, I want you to get something for me that I wanted personally for a long time. Mittens. The Ajax Development Corporation has mm -hmm. developed an atomic hearing aid. We'll destroy Miracle Earl and rule the world! Any telephone conversation desired. Since it has this potential, the government has refused. What can you say? It's a tour de force so comic performance. Mm -hmm. Every. Neon, you idiotic fool! What do you think you're doing? I got the music in me! <laughs> the glasses, that woman! I, I only wanted to. Oh, his parents must be so proud. Hey, you're a guest here. Who's that coming? Well, we've discovered Batwoman's secret power. She can open unlocked doors. So this is the wild, wild world of Batwoman, eh? Hmm? Well, hop up. Yes, it's the best hits of the 50s and 60s on 8-track and cassettes. Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. Those two were once cute, tiny, lovable babies. Tequila. Oh. Tequila. Meanwhile, in Rome... We're in trouble. Hmm? I have no idea what I'm doing in this deep, movie. Deep trouble. Take it easy, J.B. We don't have to throw in the sponge just because we're hanging on the ropes. Hmm? That's an understatement. I'd say it was more like being pulled to the corner after a nine count. We're not <laughs> Larry Tate, yet. that's rich. Now, look, I have the legal department working overtime. And she's really tired. We've got plenty of time to come up with something, J.B. Look, Flanagan. That's me. There's been some speculation in my mind about talking to you. Oh. Really? That skirt well, awarded the office. I'm afraid there exist a few aspects to this business of our patent being denied that, well, that I haven't brought out fully before. And you're sitting on my lunch. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by a foreign agent. This just in. Foreign agent? You didn't make a deal with him, did you? Well, of course I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lash Other out. stories carried by his cronies, I'm sure a few people assumed that I did. I realize you've got our legal boys trying to concoct some sort of appeal for us. But the terrible thing is... You're on my tuna sandwich. I never told you this, either. Our time limit for destroying that device has run out. What device? Who are you? We had just 15 days. About 30, as I told everyone. J.B., you kept that thing here illegally? So hoping we wouldn't have to destroy it? Well, get ready for the worst part of all. I've hired Willie Tyler and Lester. He had a telephone call early this morning from Batman. Hmm? She was good enough to inform me to be on the alert. Extensive planning was being executed for an attempted theft. Does she know that to be a fact? If she didn't, she wouldn't have called. I have no clue what you're talking about, but I'm profoundly devastated. <gasps> well. Now that you've informed me of our legal position, 
Yeah. I suppose asking the police for help is highly questionable, J.B. Yeah, you oughta... Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? What do you think I'm here for? I want you to spank me. I was afraid. And I was hoping for some kind of appeal to the patent office. And I didn't steal no bike, neither. Well, we just got to think of something to tighten it up, that's all. You just don't care about my lunch at all, do you? You know it's there and you deliberately sit on it. Wait a minute. We're not supposed to be in this movie. Wait a minute, J.B. I think I've got it. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. (laughs) With her, we might see some light yet. It's over. And this shot here, this is pure war. Thursday afternoon. I pulled up at this one place. I don't know what time it was. I kind of got out of my car. I looked at the place... I walked towards some sort of structure in which people possibly dwelled. I noticed the agriculture. Sound editor added a tasty sax lick. I passed a tree or a shrub of some variety. Then I arrived at the door. I went through the door. It was quite cool. I had heard Batwoman had quite a lingerie collection. I decided to investigate. Hmm? Oh, the one day they aren't wearing bikinis is the day I stop by. Uh, Oh, good. Here's the receptionist. Are you with the bride or the groom? I'm with you. Hey, weren't you in Beastmaster 2 through the portal of time? Takata and Wow in D minor. I don't know it. Well, she's jamming right now. She might be oil. After six months of lessons from Schmidt Music, I'm playing for my friends. Mm, Sorry, this is a smoke-free cult. (laughs) That was Michael Murray on Pipe Dreams. Wonder if it's hard to sight read through those glasses. That woman? Hi. Oh, uh, uh, about that door, that's a little dangerous, isn't it? He's really going to stick to that vinyl, you know. It wouldn't have operated if you had no appointment if someone was following you. You were monitored electronically from the time you left your car. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> oh, you mean like a closed-circuit television? Something like that. <laughs> Jello shot, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Would you like some refreshments? Uh, no, no, thank you. Yeah. Uh, very nice of you to see me this way, Bat. And I want you to know that J.B. and the rest of us will be forever grateful if, well, if, if you can just figure out some way to help us. I have no well, well, hate to us. someone who would listen in to someone else's conversation. Oh, that woman, you really don't think that, that J.B. and I would... Jim Beam? <laughs> Justice well, Brothers. Anyone else's conversation? No, no, you have the wrong idea. Entirely yeah. Is it supposed to be an all-staff meeting? As a meeting? matter of fact, the atomic power structure was much more revolutionary than anything we had counted on. Hey, you'd think just being Batwoman, she'd have more exciting meetings, but this is just painful. It really goes. The main thing is that we can what? just hang on to it until our appeal is okay. Or let's so there's a it. subplot about a horseshoe, then? then. Well, with a little bit more development, we can make a great contribution to the you but the big problem is that if it's stolen, we're sunk. If our device is misused, back then, there's no telling what can be accomplished. You have beautiful eyes. You realize there will be no privacy? And just consider the danger if they find out about the cobalt. Thing. Stop it. Would you stop it back there? Let's get out of here. Avoid it at any cost. Oh, good. Oh. You'll do it. You'll come in with it. Give me some time to talk to my girl. I'll call you within the hour. Fine, fine. It was hard. Don't settle for another typical Thanksgiving Eve with a relative. This year, add a little punch to your stuffing with the WWF Survivor Series. Very good, very good. Invite the WWF to your house for a little stuffing and some squash or suffer the consequences. The Survivor Series, the Thanksgiving tradition worth waiting for, only on pay-per-view.
Call your cable company to order. With music from DCR, working late never sounded so good. That's because DCR features a variety of specially programmed music, totally commercial free, and all in CD quality sound. Right now, get a special offer on DCR. Call your cable company today. DCR, put your life to music. The interior of the Honda Civic was developed with a sunblock to help protect the fabric from fading and cracking over the life of the car. So while you may have a limit on your time in the sun, the Civic doesn't. See you tomorrow. It's the story of Jack the Great Pumpkin King and four cool new watches at Burger King. To get a watch for a buck ninety-nine from the everyday value menu order each time. New lower prices on food that's delicious and see Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Four watches to choose from isn't that fine. Each one is different for one ninety-nine. Watches from Burger King, just one more case of everyday value. I love this place. Gomez, I'm going to have a baby. Right now. Paramount Pictures invites you to celebrate the joy of childbirth. It's an Adams. The thrill of romance. You'll meet someone, someone very special. Someone who won't press charges. And the tradition of summer camp. Is that your bathing suit? Is that your overbite? Adams Family Values. Three generations above ground. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, November 19th at Theatres Everywhere. You will be shocked. You will be stunned. You will be outraged. If you miss it. Madonna. Live Down Under, The Girly Show, only on HBO. You never know what she's going to do. You just want to be there when she does it. You're in Comedy Central. And in preparing my report on today's cheating short, I listened to both the muse and the sage, the spirit and the pragmatist, the mythical roots of my eternal... Oh, any time this century, Disraeli. Bro, oh, come on. Well, okay, Mike, just wake me when it's over. Anyway, as I was saying, it was the third question that most intrigued me. The query, was it fair for Johnny to use Mary as he did, is a mental minefield. I had to be careful, being the humus that I am. I left no stone Anytime, unturned. Any time, Any time. Uh, that answer, my friends, is no. Thank you. No. 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 That's right. Yet nine Neggy Gay. That's your report? The answer is no? What about all these other volumes? Well, geez, Mike, I had several ibids, 30 pages of footnotes, an extensive bibliography, and some really neat diagrams charting the dialectic process from the... You know, Tom, you frighten me. So, we're done, huh? Okay. No, we're not done. we still got Gypsy. Why don't you go ahead there, girl? Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Cheating. Why me? Hmm. Cheating is bad. Richard Basehart is good. Well, huh. great. Well, that was very good. Yeah, very I thought. nice. Ooh, yeah. Spirited, yeah. succinct, very yeah, nice. Right yeah. <laughs> great. Yeah. Can't we just hand these in, Mike? I mean, notify me by mail. No, 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 no. It's your turn. Now let's hear it. Come on. Oh. Cheating. <clears throat> Cheating is bad. Richard Basehart is. So, how about some lunch? Hey, Crow, what? that was word for word the same report that Gypsy just gave. Wow, what are the odds of that happening? It, it's not exactly the same. I, I mean, the read was totally different. Uh, my downbeat was on good. Uh, Gypsy's was on Richard. Stone him! Stone him, cheater! Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. You know, this is serious business, and we'll talk about it. But right now, we've got a movie to get through, and that's what we're going to do. We must demolate him, kill a match! Burn him! He must be... Ah, moving time! Burn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just lost it. Up, right. Up, nose. 
Come on. Hmm? <laughs> right to gear. He's cliff shop the tatters. <laughs> well, I have something for you. <laughs> now, open your mouth. Yeah, that cyanide. Out here, Cliff. Oh. It's not going to hurt you. It's going to kill I you. I have to set it on new formula, and I must trust this reaction. Whatever it does, it will only last for a short time. And it will pad the film immensely. Come on. Open your mouth. I'm losing my patience with you. Yeah, I bet he's lost a lot of patience. Oh, shut up. Hey. I'll take you hey. to take what? If you take this pill... I will stop talking like Gandhi. When I go to the underground cave, I'll take you with me, and you'll be able to see the monsters. You can watch them all the time that I am in the big cavern. Because I'm vaguely now, European. Wouldn't you like that? Hmm? Huh? Oh, oh, trying to be both a mother and a father to you is so difficult. Could this please be the end of the pill-taking scene? Please. please. Welcome back, my friends, to the show of that never ends. Neil, I want to let you know that I'm completely disgusted with the work of all of you over there. I think he speaks for all of us. That escape with the girl has all but ruined my last chance. Very little time to form a new plan. I'm sorry about what happened. Yeah, well, sorry, don't pay the gas bill, Doctor. I'm going wrong now. How is everything How are all my thoughts? Never mind about the monsters. Keep your thinking on what has to be done. It's going to be more difficult than ever now because I've learned through the grapevine that that woman herself is guarding the vault at Ajax. Taking no chances of our formulating a successful operation. But if we'll do it anyway. Success will be ours. Do you understand me, Neon? Well, could you start again right after the part where you were reaming me? Well, the ball's in our court, Heathcliff. It was a dark and st- Oh. What's Dwight Eisenhower doing here? Security guards of foreign wars. The last brown shirt. Where was I on the night of April 14th? <laughs> I love my job. Uche! Uche! Boy, work really piled up on me while I piled up. <laughs> I love that story. Down! Oh, jeez. Wow. The phone's ringing. It's never done that before. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Keep it. Come on. Hello. Hello? Good evening, dear physicians. Hmm? No, no one is here. Everything is in order. Even your Marky Mark poster. Right, bye. I'm not going to tell him what I'm wearing. He knows already. Well, that went off without a hitch. Dusky Robbins, anyone? <laughs> this movie's funny. I changed my mind. Oh, he's got a funny bow tie under his nose, and it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the classic bit. This is great. <laughs> it's fun when it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. The White House plumber is only funny. Uh, there's funny Cheech Farron in the back. <laughs> oh. hmm. Well, I never would have believed. I'm Norm Crosby. This is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Right. Ah, my mother had a pair of those. <laughs> oh. Yes, this is one. With all this paneling. You'll notice I have a double guard consisting of my best girl at the ball itself. <laughs> I hope you'll be able to relax now that you're aware of the extent of our precautions. Oh, yes, yes, of course I will. Uh, you've made me feel completely secure, bad woman. It's and all besides exposition, all, Chan. I have the <laughs> only key to the vault. Right here in my pocket. Uh, maybe you could do with a little bit of lunch. We can get it right downstairs. I think they're falling in love. Hey, let's just be quiet and enjoy this. It'll go fast. Yeah. Ooh. Soup? Hot soup, girls. Hmm? Here it is. Soup. Get your soup, girls. Isn't that delicious? Yes. Soup. Bad girls come running for the good taste of hot soup. How's that, girl? How's that taste? It tastes like air, but then everything tastes like air to me. <laughs> 
<sighs> Stanley Owsley is smiling somewhere. Dancing guns and soup don't mix. Mm -hmm. well, he's reading Mr. Drysdale Monthly. Uh, Miss Benson, mm -hmm. I'm going to the commissary for a quick bite of lunch. Uh, ring through to me if that Simpson call comes in. Simpson, eh? Miss Benson, did you hear me? What's happened to Miss Benson? Find out on the next episode. Miss Benson! Robert Guillaume is Miss Benson. <laughs> and so we leave on our search for Miss Benson. Gee, pick any Miss Benson you want. Woohoo! Now you listen to the story about a man named Jeddipo. <laughs> Just when I thought the movie couldn't get any worse, Ringo's in it. No. Looking very relaxed, Hugh Beaumont on sax. Justice Ginsburg arrives. Ah, table five, all women. Yeah. What the? <laughs> the Hudson Brothers in their wackiest comedy yet. Oh, no, they're going to drug Jerry Mulligan. Hmm? It's like a Mentos ad. <laughs> yeah, let's see 25 for you, and you had the other C25. Uh, here, hot hey, LSD Hitler, 25. we want an order over here. Give me that. That's the 25 for you, and the 25 what? Huh? It's good enough for a starter. Uh, I have a feeling Satan would regret making this movie. Look at that. Gloria Steinem gets down. This is back when Yiddish theater was still going strong. She's wearing a gownless evening strap. It was a really good batch. You know, these Applebee's are really getting zany. Yeah. Look out, here comes the entire wait staff singing happy birthday. Oh, no. <sighs> now this is a hot lunch program. <laughs> yeah, learn that down. Wow. I've never seen Souls and Eats and look quite so giddy. Mm -hmm. Happy. All right, let's do that Stephen Leo bit. Here, okay. Yes, it's a life in the theater. This one's free, Batwoman. <laughs> yeah. Check out Shirley Chisholm in the background. <laughs> Chisholm, Shirley Chisholm. He's fun, that one. Spend a day looking at the lighter side of alien invasion. Watch the Comedy Sci-Fi Marathon, beginning Sunday at noon, only at Comedy Central. Wait a minute. You tell me they pick up half the tab on whoever I call most? Sprint announces a radical new offer when you switch to the most. Get out of here. It's true. Sprint will split the bill on whoever you call most. Right. Who's going to believe a thing like that? I have it. They split it. See? It pays to listen to your friends. Call now and save 50% with Sprint's calling plan the most. It's the story of Jack the Great Pumpkin King and four cool new watches at Burger King. To get a watch for a buck ninety-nine from the everyday value menu order each time. New lower prices on food that's delicious and see Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Four watches to choose from isn't that fine. Each one is different for one ninety-nine. Watches from Burger King, just one more case of everyday value. I love this place. They've got the look. They've got the style. Ah, timing. They've got a problem. My rear's killing me. They're three courageous guys. Those musketeers are a menace. Out to prove it's one for all. <laughs> and all for fun, the three musketeers. Gotta love my work. Rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes.
Mixed nuts never give you enough of your favorite nuts, but new Fisher favorites are all favorites. Pecans, almonds, peanuts lightly coated with luscious flavors. Toffee, honey glaze, praline, plus large whole cashews. So that's my favorite. That's right. No, that's my favorite. That's right. Every nut is your favorite. New Fisher favorites. Just my self-respect. <laughs> now I've lost my mind. Now this is how the NRA wants the world to look. <laughs> and frankly, hey, hey, sorry. The maiden form woman. You never know where she'll show up. Uh, I pick you. <laughs> Hey, Frank Sinatra Jr. Come on. Wait, I'm trying to figure this out. So where do the batteries go? Tiger, come on. Okay. So you want to go have soup sometime? The Lander sisters get down. I'm Peter Graves. Tonight on A&E Biography, we've repackaged a documentary made years ago. There's a man on the wing of the plane! <gasps> there isn't? No. Oh. Are you the beetle? Oh, you yeah, must be the beetle. Sounds much better. Geraldine Ferrara. How do you know? Oh, sure, go ahead and use the phone. <clears throat> Hi, Mom, practice is done. Hello? Can you pick us up? This Ajax Development Corporation. Is Perseus in right now? This is Seltzer of the Patent Office. I'd like to speak to J.B. Christians, please. I'm here with Doodles Weaver. He's where? Up my what? The home of Batwoman. Should I repeat everything you say? What's happened that's so terrible? They've renewed mad about you? Uh, yes, I can get over there. Well, shouldn't I call first? Uh, you're right, I am calling. I see. All right, we'll take a cab and get there right away. We'll take uh, PC cab. What's your address? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Long address. Special appearance by George Goober Lindsay. <laughs> Shh, mass has already started. We must concentrate ourselves fully, and thus we penetrate into the realms of etheric existence. Looks like they're coming down from the soup. We must call hmm. upon an etheric guide who will contact those at this table within the next few moments. Hmm. May we hear a voice. We come in a bad time. A sign that this message is being received by those beyond the physical plane. Judy, Judy, Judy. We call out to the world of spirit. Will someone please come through? I am Iron I... Man. <laughs> Do you hear me? They contacted Leonard Cohen. Yes, we hear you plainly. I wish to thank you for coming to us. She looks like a dry fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is perfectly all right. I am the North what Wind. Can I do for you? It is desired by those at this table that we get more to bread. locate a missing device, one of an electronic nature. It was stolen from Mr. Christian's hair only a few hours ago. Oh yeah, I got a I psychic button on that. Locating it immediately, as it could be highly dangerous and highly dull. The individuals who harbor it may not be aware of its explosive potential. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to repeat the message. Who is that? Who is that? Eek a mouse? It's like Chinese. I am sorry. Sir, sit closer to the mic now. Is this guy rigor mortis is set in? The device is stolen from the Ajax Development Company. I'm aware of Steve's identity but not his whereabouts. He has a hidden laboratory somewhere along the coast. Hey, who doesn't anymore? I was there a short time ago, but it was in the middle of the night, and I was unable to take note of any landmark. The location of this laboratory hmm. is what we ask you to help us with. I must emphasize again that it's most important. Yoko, no! You're speaking in Chinese again. I have to inform you that no one here 
is familiar with Oriental languages. And that's Asian languages, sister. But only in English. Do you understand? Please, God, cut away to anything, please. I that speaks another tongue. We know. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no need to lash please out. Please leave the really. channel free so I can communicate with the other gentlemen. Would you just please I'm leave? I'm to assist us. However, I can't comprehend a word you're saying. You know, that may not really be Chinese. Uh, hmm. Maybe get on with the information. Hmm. Oh, ching chong chow. We have a clear channel now. You can speak to us. I brought some of my most important clients to this seance. If you could please cooperate. It huh. seems we've lost communication. Good. Look. Oh, he's alive. You move. Hey. You think we might do this some other time? Oh, don't misunderstand me, bad woman. I do have confidence. Hmm. Well, anything you say, Mr. Christian, you know your schedule better than I do. To every Asian and every human being, we apologize for that scene. Mr. Seltzer, what is all this nonsense? And what's happened to that hearing aid? Did I hear correctly about it being stolen? Mr. Seltzer, I'd like you to meet that woman. She's our hostess here. I'm aware of that. How do you do that? I'm Tubby Guy, and that's Nerdy Guy with a briefcase. <clears throat> this is Brokely, my assistant. I can't speak. Laryngitis. Oh, like our guest at the table. <laughs> <laughs> I get oh. something warm from the bar. It might loosen up the throat. Uh, it would seem to me that things are loose enough around here as they are. Can he rip that thing out of a Chevy Vega? <laughs> Watson, come here. I hate you. I'm cleaning my oven. <laughs> Please turn your head and cough. Hmm? Oh, oh, God, this is hit new death. That's so silly, Roy. Haven't you ever tried it? Me? Nah. The only thing I ever got to exercise was a couple of strolls every day when I was up at State. You went to State University? University. The hilarity so of drop-dead like bread. Stay ten. You should have given college a try. Mm -hmm. I went for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. That way you like to dance? You're the best dancer i ever seen. And i seen two. Thanks. Gee, I'm sorry about that. Sure you are. I am, really. So, Mike, this is I hell. I guess I shouldn't have put yep, the bread yep. on you again. I guess I should have well, put I'm the mic on you, My rat think himself. He's coming up here from the cave to shake my hand personally. <gasps> you know what he finishes that hearing aid. That looks like a rather large and ungainly hearing aid to me. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town, along with Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, Rudolph, full power! Now you can light up the holiday season for your children again and again with three of the best-loved original Christmas classics ever, all from Time Life Video. Have a holly jolly Christmas! All these magical characters are back again for your kids or grandchildren to enjoy. A child's video Christmas, selected by Time Life as the best in children's holiday entertainment, and all for $39.99. So call now for all the warmth, wonder, and great music, too. Here's how to order. To order your child's video Christmas, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-841-2200 or send $39.99 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to Child's Video Christmas, Department 211, Box 1322, Buffalo, New York, 14205. It's the story of Jack, the Great Pumpkin King, and four cool new watches at Burger King. To get a watch for a buck ninety-nine from the everyday value menu, order each time. New lower prices on food that's delicious, and see Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Four watches to choose from isn't that fine. Each one is different for one ninety-nine. Watches from Burger King, just one more case of everyday value. I love this place. Ah! 
a shot. The Three Musketeers, rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. You will be shocked. You will be stunned. You will be outraged. If you miss it. Madonna, live down under, the girly show, only on HBO. You never know what she's going to do. You just want to be there when she does it. Why haven't you called home? Mom, you remember when I told you that my friend was sick? Mom? The rotary phone got stuck because it got a lot of rust around the motor. I think I have amnesia. Why haven't you called? Mom's always know when you're lying. One excuse you don't have anymore is price. My mom's going to love this. Introducing 1-800-OPERATOR from AT&T. There's no lower price for a collect call. Just spell it out. 1-800-O-P-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E Remember, if it's not 1-800-OPERATOR, it's not AT&T. I love you, Mom. That's a lot of girls. The beat you're searching is the least likely to be the correct one because that laboratory uses high voltage and there isn't any on the North Beach. Oh, ching chong, 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 chong. But I did see a small reef in the water just offshore. Keep your eyes on for a hidden cove that would be completely covered at high tide. <laughs> that woman out. My other wrist is ringing. That woman speaking. This Flanagan, bad woman. He's a producer. I just called to tell you goodbye and to thank you for everything you did for the Ajax Development Company. I love you. I uh, always love you. That. And also the fact that, well, I was able to dance with him. I want you to know I really enjoyed it. He's a lonely, lonely well, man. I'm not a drinking man, bad woman. No. Well, I figured I'd have a couple. Mrs. Stolle. View of the fact that. I'm leaving immediately, and I'm starting a new life in the PG Island. Cool. I suggest you pull yourself together, Frank. There's no need for you to run off anywhere. Oh, she does phone as counseling, far as my too. Business, oh, nice. I can see my work is cut out for me, and I'll accept it gladly. Now, hold on while I trace the call. My girls, all of them, are dedicated to finding your device. Excuse me? Right now, they're out <laughs> searching, working with selfless dedication. Keep your eye on the road and your hands upon the wheel. Oh, Edith Prickly goes at it with Lumpy Rutherford. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, the devil made this movie for you. Yes, the devil had to do it. The sad thing is they're trying to tap them. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> so do you like me? <laughs> Snap him over. Break him in half. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Barbara Streisand. Oh. This is before they invented Librium, isn't it? <laughs> okay, they're kissing. No. And they're dancing. Back to the band. Now kissing. And dancing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she's blonde. That was making out with her pretty much. Attention. Sucking that gut. Oh, you can get these guys' phone numbers and we'll have more time. Right now we've got a job to do. Spread out and single. Come on, let's move. Is this any way to run an airline? You bet it is. <laughs> Please kill me. Hey, baby, over here. Oh. Jane Goodall works her magic. Boy with the hip. No, no to the side. Please kill me. How's this? Oh, Tiger, you're just not getting Oh, God, I was going to get through this movie without thinking about his hips and now this. Oh. Oh. Tiger, why don't you let me out of here? You can do it, please. Hey, I think you're running down. I think you need another pill. I don't want another pill. I'm tired of being happy. But it's a good kind of tired. 
Ooh. Ooh. Well, you're out of paper. I had to use Heathcliff. He didn't mind. <laughs> Just come up from the cave. And Rat Fink wants you to finish your work down there. Now, that woman and her girls were all over the beach. And he said for us to put Operation Plan Grab X-12 right away. Oh, stop pretending there's a plot. Don't cheapen yourself further. Huh. They watch. Mm. Yes, Bat they watch. Laundry, two, two, three. Huh. I'm passing the reef south of the point. Batwoman over. Batwoman monitoring 223. Uh, 14. Hmm? Was that part of the movie or did that actually happen? Hmm. When Gidget meets Zorro. See, now a lot of villains aren't bold enough to wear clam diggers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you ever have a problem feeling fresh? But ma Mom! Mom! Well, she went on the beach not expecting to be abducted by a Mexican wrestler. Bad touch, El Santo. Here's Charo, waiting to be abducted. Ah, uh, hoochie, 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 hoochie. Ah, ma! Well, that's five. He's got a volleyball team. Kind of looks like a whiskey decanter. Bad Laporte. You know, to me, that leash screams unhealthy relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. Careful. You gotta watch your footing down here. I'd slow up for you, but we gotta catch up with the rest of them, otherwise they'll think something's wrong. So? I see your point. What do you mean I'll lose my job? Big deal. Taming of the bat shrew. Everybody's gotta have a job. Sure, everybody's gotta have a job. So go ahead and do it. I wouldn't ask you to make any sacrifice. What, Adam 12? Domestic. Come on, little dog. Be nice. I know it's my fault I got you messed up in this place. First year of bondage is the hardest. But you know, wound up here anyway. And I got to do what they tell me to do. Sure. Heather to the mob. Come on, we just about need a big cabin. It's really something. You ain't never seen nothing like it. Ain't never seen anything it's like the it. The monster's outside of Rat Sting's lab. I can't wait. Just a tiny bit further. Come on, you're going to see something. Tiger, what's that over there? Where? Ah, oh, uh, they can't hurt you. They ain't even alive. Come on. Yeah, if they hit you at 90 miles an hour, they could hurt you. Sounds like Bernie Krause turning up his Mellotron. Wow. Fritz Lang's Beaches. Didn't I tell you? This place is something else. They got great ribs here. Pretty, thousands of years ago. Pretty weird, huh? Yeah, too bad it's not in the same movie. I'm scared. Can you have sex with me? Hmm? Whoa. Looks like they're stopping a rest. That's me, I usually lose real faith when he's gonna see his monster. What in the heck? Hey, oh. This is the mole people. These movies have crashed. Oh, I got a bad worm or something. You got your mole people and my bat woman. You got your bat woman and my mole people. Oh. Well, I've had enough of that film. That's a slimming look for him. Dig, nabbit, Pepina, get the horses back in the barn. Jesse. And I would walk 500 <laughs> miles. You're going the wrong way. Hmm? Well, my, my monsters, I want to... We're, we're looking we desperately for a uh, movie to be in. Uh, uh, but I must see them first. Just a quick, cheesy look. He may be mistreating them again. He may be hurting them. <laughs> Doctor dresses like an off-duty Denny's man. He's got more important <laughs> things on his mind. Come on. Come on, let's go. Gotta go hurt the crow. No, 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 Hey, Tom, what's up? Meeting of the Satellite of Love crew. Oh, I don't think you'd want to come to this meeting. It's about you. Me? That's right. It's about how you cheated and betrayed the confidence of a sweet, innocent robot. It's about how you made a mockery of everything that's good in this world. It's about how everything you touch, you destroy. So why can't I come? Don't let you just... Oh. Sorry I'm late. Hi. Well, as unpleasant as this whole mess is, we have to address Crow's cheating. Uh, I call this meeting to order. Guilty! 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 Tom! I say guilty. Come on, Tom. Sure, Crow's made a mistake. But we should have compassion. Remember my gumball-headed young friend? The quality of mercy is not strained. 
<sighs> it falleth from the heavens like a gentle rain. Gypsy, he stole from your essay. Really? Fry him! Fry him! I want a family pet! I want a family pet! Yeah, hey, 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 spirit. Hey. Hey. Calm down. This isn't getting us anywhere. I think the first thing that we need to do is... Hey, who's this guy? Ah, would you like some soup? Well, yes, I would. That's exactly... What would you like that? Crow, get out of this meeting. All right. Now, uh, I think we all agree that Crow needs some sort of punishment. What should it be? Well, if uh, I may quote from my colleague Gypsy here... Fry him! Fry him! Burn him up! And if I may just interject one thought of my own... Tear him up! Rip him apart! Burn him! And in conclusion, die, 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 Any thoughts? Yeah, well, actually, I was thinking more along the lines of not giving him any host to snowball. <laughs> hey, Crow, buddy. Yeah? I hate to be the one to tell you this. We all talked it over, and we've decided to... Uh... Shun you! Yeah, well, I'm shunning you. Well, I shun you first. Yeah, I shun you back. No, I double shun you version 2.1. I shun you version 2.2. .2. I shun you version 3 for this Windows. This is getting us anywhere. We'll be right back. I super mega friggin' shun you. I friggin' shun you. Watch it. Opera from the hood. <laughs> la 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 la. What's up, homeboy? <laughs> Along with 50 other standard amenities, the Nissan Maxima GXE has a keyless entry system on the door. This system allows you to unlock doors, open the trunk, and even open windows automatically. But if you think the door is impressive. Just imagine what's behind it. Now Lisa Maxima with a standard V6 for just a thousand down and two eighty nine a month for thirty six months. Baked rolled gold pretzels. Rolled gold. What kind of a word is R O L D? It's no kind of word. And gold. They're not gold. They're pretzel colored. I couldn't help but notice your pretzels. Most people don't realize they're low in fat. Hey, April. April. What kind of a name is April? It's a month, not a person. Rolled gold pretzels. They're not rolled, they're not gold, but they are America's favorite. Beverly Hills, you can really lose perspective. Babe, work with me. We're talking sequel. So my parents back in Jersey insist that I call them as often as I can. Collect. Of course, now I dial 1-800-COLLECT instead of zero. It always costs them less so we can talk more. Yeah, you can really get caught up in all this hype, but don't worry, Mom. I'm still the same old Ian from New Jersey. Aren't you from... Um... West Orange, 07052. 1-800-COLLECT. Dial it instead of zero the next time you call someone. Collect. I love video stores. I love fighting traffic. I love being told they're out of the movie I want. I love late fees. I love long lines at the register. No matter how you try to convince yourself otherwise, video rental has its drawbacks. Fortunately, there's pay-per-view from Dimension Cable. Ordering pay-per-view is easy. Just select the movie and call. And you'll have the latest hits right in your home. I love rewinding. I love the FBI warning. I like the setting, I like the theater itself, the size, the quality, very personal, small. I've gotten used to the actors, I, I really uh, have some of my favorites. I mean, they really are able to draw in their audience. It's like recreating what real life is all about. You get very involved in the play and you actually forget that you're in a theater. I love Trinity. Trinity is the best. Oh yeah, I like Trinity. There are times I wish I was on stage, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, well, I giga shun you. Yeah, well, I shun you next. No one's no, shunning. Wait. Let's watch this. Fashions by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Shut up. Oh, he must be going to a Packer game later. <laughs> oh, God, he's going to drink Liz Taylor's poison. Ratfink is an incredibly vague villain. He isn't focused at all. <laughs> Although he did have the right amount of chains. Hmm? Convenient. Yeah. Who will be Miss Chrysanthemum? This nectar, my dear girl, 
is the most potent tranquilizing agent ever devised. Yeah, fine. Just don't tickle us. Gives me strength. It enables me to solve great mysteries that mortal man has ever dreamed of before. <laughs> like how did Thea Vidal get a series? I'd ask you to join me, but then you would have your opportunities sooner than you realize. <laughs> could you hang us upside down? We're bat women. You ain't nothing if you can't swing without a bat. Now, you hear this. I'll have none of your insolence. You're in no position, any of you, to show off your bad manners. Manners, he says. <laughs> oh, hang on, let me check my suit. All right, Neon. I'll throw the door current. Now do it now. <laughs> I'm throwing the door current now. Jingleheimer Schmidt. Hi, we're back from Camp Snoopy. <laughs> uh, are we in this scene? Or are we supposed to be back with the mole people? Where's the other girl? Is she with you? Uh, Tiger is locking up the place. He'll bring a rattle on. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, should I just throw these in the bed? We or? have room for just one more. <laughs> no funny, bad thing. Well, Leon, what do you think about it? It's marvelous. It's marvelous. It's marvelous. It's marvelous. I've got to go again. I've got to go. Hey, 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 hey. All right, but don't cut any commotion. Now okay. walk slowly now. You know, David Bowie did the stage version. Oh, yeah. He had King Vitamin for breakfast. Yes, but I think you have a perfectly beautiful, beautiful collection. Yeah. If I may say so, this time you have outdone yourself. Yeah, whatever. I've got things to do. Yes, but what I want to ask you... Where in Europe am I from? Oh, you want to ask you that thing? Yes, Neon. Uh, what's the fastest uh, land animal? It's been several days now, and, and I, I just want to look in on them to see if everything is fine. <laughs> then I, I will come right back, I promise you. Never mind the monsters, Neon. Here's the sex pistols. But you never let me see them anymore. You're always putting me off. Hmm? They are my monsters, I think. Hmm. I, I created them to be <laughs> and this is mine. I are you them saying, the... Neon, that my own creations are something less than yours? And you, Tin Man, but step I, forward. Of course not, I think. We both know that the value of your great work was bring to the world. By... Now get your nose out of my butt and go see your precious monsters. You will be quite pleased to know, Neon, that all of your monsters will soon be multiplied. Oh, uh, Mr. Fink, uh, sir, could we get a pop over here? Why do you think I have these girls here? I give up. Why? <laughs> Stop laughing like that. Your spring should be most interesting. Stop it. Those girls are my monsters. At what point do they free Willy? Wait, huh? Okay, Tiger. I'll pull the switch. You know, it's possible they're making an electric Santa Claus. At this point, they could be doing anything. I like her. Yes, it's me. You're wondering how I found you. You should know me better than that. My breasts let me here. It was so elementary, Raptor. I don't know how you could have taken the bait. I'm still here. and I'm I fine. knew you would kidnap my girls, and that's what I counted on. That's the woman device. But men like it, too. Each one of the girls carries an oh. oscillator set for my own frequency. And this not only picks them up, but also frees them. <laughs> Free the others. Use your magnetic electron device. Well, why don't I just unhook them? Hey, Tiger, why you let it creep up on you? I can hear my heart I didn't have to creep up on you. He realized of his own making that he would do the honorable thing and set that girl free. Hmm? This boy has fallen in love. Well, He's recapping uh, things from other movies. Uh, 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 may I introduce myself? No. no. My name is Frank, Jim Frank. I am vice president of the Ajax Development Corporation. We're all vice presidents of the Ajax Development the Corporation. We have a little power that we can iron this out for the new way. Uh, uh, Mr. Rex. I understand you have our... Uh, hey, hold the microphone steady, Batwoman. Thank you. That's a very good idea to sit down and talk things over on the table. I could whip up something for the tree. I've been spending for all of us. I have something else to your mind. Yes. Forget it, Professor. I'm holding I've the air dryer. I have no desire to be made happy. Well, how would you like to try other pricing? Well, Professor, now that you mentioned it, maybe get some... Now, listen to me. 
I've had enough of this drivel, all of you. Speak into the mic. You're forgetting where you are. And what movie you're in. It's a sanctuary of science. Hmm? A place of sanctuary. What? The place. You'll carry out the work of evil no longer. And I'll find a satisfaction I've waited for much too long. Your true identity. Oh, my no. Who's Max 14? No. I think it's going to be Tony Roberts. I don't know. Here you weapon, that woman. I have no wish to be destroyed. Want some cider? I have an emergency call for the revelation of the greatest discovery of my career. Great. My fabulous body divider will render things most difficult for you, I say. Stand where you are! <laughs> All right, I will. The compliant villain can do. Maybe it's Ron Liebman. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't you request it, that woman. Huh? I'm still over there. At the same time, I'm here. And look, I'm there. And there, too. <laughs> Maybe it's Madonna. John Candy and Laura and Adrian yeah. Barbo. Yeah. All of them. You know what that means. I'll divide myself until you lose count. <laughs> I'll divide myself into quarter acre lots. I'll build houses so close to myself you won't be able to catch me. Ah. <laughs> What is this, some kind of a weird-ass hootenanny all of a sudden? It's a hootenanny. Jesus. You know a movie is bad, bad, bad if it makes the monkeys look good. Mm hmm I know that you are out there somewhere having fun. You never come and see the baby, you rat! This is like a classic loopy loopy movie, sort of, except I'm having to kill myself. <laughs> Maybe they'll all turn into butter. I don't know. Whoa, there's a bride for every brother. Okay, okay, people, if I could get all the dancing rat things to one side of the stage and all the singing rat things to the other, please. You never help me around the house. I hate you. Hey, zany, huh? I wish I was hanging by that rope. Yeah, me too. Looks so good. Uh, just one more. Look. <laughs> Bless you, bless you, go in peace. Excuse me, that's my cape, excuse me! Kill me, kill me. I love you, you love me. This holiday season, give the gifts that kids can enjoy winter, spring, summer, and fall. Give them all new Barney with this special gift set. Two brand new Barney videos available for the first time exclusively from Timeline Video. In Down on Barney's Farm, Barney introduces kids to a whole barnyard of animals. Four Seasons Day teaches children about winter, spring, summer, and fall. Call now and you'll get the all new Barney gift set delivered right to your door for $29.99. Use your credit card and you'll get this brass holiday ornament free. The Barney gift set. It's a great way to say, I love you. Call 1-800-437-6699 now. You'll get both all new Barney videos for $29.99. Have your credit card ready. Call 1-800-437-6699. You'll find all kinds of people in Arizona. Arizona jeanswear from JCPenney. They're people with brains. People who care. People with attitude. They're all in Arizona. A line of clothes you can live in. At a price you can live with. Hey, live in Arizona. Only at JCPenney. Dos Equis wants to help you change your life. Change my life? Can I have extra towels? I'd be a sushi chef. Can I have sideburns? Sideburns? No problem. Just enter the Dos Equis Change Your Life Contest. Look for Dos Equis video parties at your favorite bar. Or get details wherever you buy Dos Equis. And tell us how you change your life. I'd get a sex change operation. And I want pancakes. Rich like a dark beer, smooth like a lager. Dos Equis. Drink it for a change. The faces of discovery are the faces of the world. When you set your sights on the fascination of real world entertainment, find yourself here. The Discovery Channel.
Explore your world. Everybody thinks programming a VCR is so incredibly complicated. Record Channel 3, Sunday, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. What's the problem? Magnavox, the only VCR with Smart Talk Remote. Smart, very smart. Who makes the only TV with a smart sound feature, which ensures your volume will stay at normal levels, even when something like this comes on? Magnavox, smart, very smart. No use shouting, old man. It's perhaps the greatest rock and roll story ever told. We've got, you know, armadillos in our trousers. I mean, it's really quite frightening. This is Spinal Tap. Next, here at Comedy Central. That woman can do something. Somebody's going to get killed. Definitely acceptable losses. Mm -hmm. I can. Lateral capacity is two point four microfarad. If the cap was by what? what? The electron proceeds to flow. Take two day until the rash goes down. Stop his equipment. Well, if he has power, I'll need several thousand volts. This with what I have. I'm trying to get all things considered. Now turn this slowly. Mm -hmm. Very slowly. Thank you. We wish we could hire you all, but there is only one part. You were all wonderful, Rat Finks. I can say one thing for you. You have a tremendous generating plant here. Thank you. It's been used properly now for the first time. Your little game has finally come to an end. You will not win out over me, that. <laughs> I've got a pencil sharpener and a ball of sugar, and I'll use them. You know what's in this bottle? It's cobalt 40. It's bubble -ish, A few drops of this on the hearing aid, and the atoms will begin to split. Bad woman, he knows about the mischief. I'll do it, bad woman. I'll do it if you force my hand. I don't want to die because of you. You're a big rasping. Ha ha! And that's it, rasping. Remove his mask. <gasps> William Faulkner. Jane, baby. Oh, hideous. Yes. Please do not reveal the secret to the wild, wild world of Batwoman. But uh, I mean, all these years you've been leading a double life? You wild man. You went to all this trouble to steal your own invention? You had to do it. Now, well, I, excuse me. Blue. Oh. I couldn't excuse me. I'm coming bottle. through here. Pardon me. They insisted on first day watching it being destroyed. Oh, has anybody seen my wallet? Hmm. I just have one little weakness. Weakness? What weakness? Dove bars. I love them. Well... I'm going to get Heathcliff a rawhide shoe. Little idiosyncrasies. Nice stock, Rue McClanahan. My weakness is... I know this sounds trifling, but I can't help myself. I should be sternly disciplined. I yes. like to listen in on telephone conversations. The hearing aid was designed for that purpose. I realized that only by having it stolen from myself could I hope mm -hmm. to have it preserved. Somehow that Wrong got in there. Sorry, for long. <laughs> and neither were we. He oh. built the coal wall. Oh. It's too late. Well, I think we're out of the woods as far as chasing Rat Frank around the table anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Trying to put us down. Talking about the magic. Oh, oh, oh. I'll shoot myself if we ever meet again. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. This is my favorite scene so far. Mm. This one. The wild, wild world of that woman now concludes its broadcast day. In Grant Park on Lakeshore Drive. Ha 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 like what? drift babies. <laughs> Um, a, a little more to the left, please. Yeah. Uh, pan left. Hey. <laughs> oh. Harder. Harder! This beach is just one big litter box to him. Ooh. Ooh. I, Lord, Professor Neon! Uh, Neon, what happened? I, I can't remember a thing. <laughs> no, that's a new voice. That's a new voice. my voice. Yes. Now it's flowers for Algernon. I remember now. It's coming back to me, but... 
been a long time. Huh. Well, 14 years. Another plot. Years. Oh, yeah. thank God he flipped out his yeah. voice back. We, we were working on an experiment. One that would bring out the personality traits of an animal. The Professor Neon. What about the hearing aid? Am I crazy? Oh. Wasn't that the plot? I, I, I just... <sighs> some of the formula. You gave me some of the formula? Me, your friend? Your benefactor, the one who's financing your work. Uh, Mike, I demand that you kill me. Me too. No, no. But I'm taking care of you. Can't have much to go. All of these years, uh, I'm taking care of you. Will you kill me? But we'll have to discuss this, Leon. We'll have to discuss this quite thoroughly. Now, come along. Let's get away from this place. Then another thing. You kissed me before. What was that about? I I, I can't straighten up. Can't straighten your back? Uh, Well, don't fret, Professor. Just give me your hand. We kill you? Really, who could not appreciate the irony here, huh? And your brains ain't up to par And your ears stick out too far Oh, Hamburger Hill. We the girls who are dedicated to Batwoman take our oath with all sincerity. We the girls who are dedicated to Batwoman take our pride with all sincerity. And another troop is brainwashed. We the girls who are dedicated to Batwoman fight against evil with all sincerity. No, Jackie Vernon Eddie. joined up with him. He's not a girl. <laughs> now! You want to just now try to do it right. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. No, no, I have to think about his hips again. Hurt your eyes. <sighs> boy, their training is rigorous. It's like the Israeli army. No, it's better. Oh. Cliff, what a wonderful dual role! No, no, everything quite satisfactory. It's that one kid in the hall. Yeah. He's turned into Paul Lynn here. Heard of in my college days. If I'd made movements like that, I'd been firmly fucked in the ears. Well, the music's terrible, but at least it's drowning out the dialogue. I figured out what went wrong with Neon's experiment. <laughs> As a child, I fell on my head. Good. Which accounted for my turning on the intellectual genius. Batwoman's medallion is just like right the there. The explosion, of course, brought yeah. upon the very same result. Mm-hmm. You know, it's simply amazing what can be accomplished by a Me. little Hi, I'm Merv Griffin. Talent. Shelly Berman, folks! You know, this is what happens when the, when the guy that thinks he's a hoot gets into a movie. Yep. Hey, rather cheeky. Whoa. Whoa, you ought to have yeah. that looked at. I'll look at it. Yeah, yeah, just... to. My goodness. If, if oh. I ever get back to Earth, the first thing I do... See your family? Nope. I'm going to hunt down Jerry Warren. Good. Slow down. You're going to dislocate something. <laughs> Not since Dean Jones and the Love Bug, eh? <laughs> oh, he's leaving an oil slick. Help! Huh. Oh, Donald. Oh, Donald. Oh, What a wild, wild world. Please stay away from sharp instruments for three weeks after viewing this film and do not operate heavy equipment. Thank you. So why does Crow get a chance to respond, Mike? Well, it's due process. Huh? As, as the accused, he's owed a chance to defend himself. Plus... It gives him hope, and that should make killing him an even richer experience. Oh, we're not going <laughs> to kill him and take the Ooh. foot off. Well, I'm here for my last ditch hearing. I've got a statement. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> well, where to start? <laughs> should we listen? We're shunning him. No, we should listen. Oh, good. It's hard to shun. I keep forgetting. If it please the court. It pleases the court. Quiet, everyone. <clears throat> As I think back on my life, I see basically a good robot. A robust and exemplary youth was followed by an unusually religious and public-spirited young adulthood. Then I began my life of service. Being crushed into an ingot. Being hung upside down in chains. Oh, it's really true. Yet all that matters not, for trouble has found me. I stand accused of cheating, and here is where the story becomes 
complex. Complex? He copied my paper. What's complex about? If my actions, if my creative methods for obtaining information have... He copied my whole paper! If those methods have been perceived by some as less than on the up and up, this causes me so much pain. Can we just kill him now? Perhaps in my purity, I did not recognize temptation. <laughs> the tragedy is almost too perfect. But I accept the consequences. I forgive Mike for forcing me into this situation. He Help. did not realize the trap he was setting. I forgive Servo and Gypsy. He copied my friggin' paper! Down he goes! Down! And down. I forgive myself. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> I await your verdict. Well, Crow, uh, first off, it seems like you never really got to the apology. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. <clears throat> In an otherwise selfless and velvet life, I have cheated. And when you cheat, you make an eat out of C and H. I'm sorry. The court finds the defendant... Guilty! Oh. <laughs> but he's basically a decent guy, so he and all his friends are sentenced to eating hostess snowballs all night long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good got along, buddy. I hope really? you never fry. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, guys, want to read a letter? Ooh, hey, yeah. Sure. We got a letter here from uh, a guy named Eric hey, put Bauman. Put it up on Still Store. Now. Okay, yeah. put that on Ooh. Still Store. And here's what he says. He says, I will soon be starting law school, and I would like to represent you in a suit against Dr. Forrester and TV's Frank. I believe that you have on your hands a clear case of wrongful marooning in space and may be entitled to a large cash award. Wow. Eric, you're going to do the right thing, son. You're going to protect the firm, right? By the way, we got some pictures of you and your girlfriend. Oh, no, no, no. Give them the address. <laughs> okay. Address for the Mystery Science Theater Information Club, Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. Do it today. Whoop. What do you think, sir? Hmm? I admit I asked you to do this, Frank. I mean, I wanted to take a risk. And you did. You did. You really look... Ah! Ah! Really? That good? With the way the side burns, sir, the way... Well, I, I like it. I do like it. I'm very happy with my decision. <laughs> now, be a dear and push the button, will you, Frank? Frank? Oh, never mind. I'll get it. Oh. <laughs> been a presentation from Comedy Central. Imagine Siskel and Ebert slathered in barbecue